Hey everybody, Chris Steele here at Steel Frags. Tonight, we're going to look into the house of Latapa once, Latapa once again and look at one of their lesser known fragrances that just happens to be probably my, one of my favorite fall fragrances. And that is Ruat Al Oud. And Ruat Al Oud ha probably has one of the most beautiful, pretty, just gorgeous bottle designs at all the Latafas. Unfortunately, during the shipping of this uh, perfume, the top, there's there was a top piece, it was like a crystal little crown type of deal on top of it, and that completely broke off. But the rest of it is just exquisite, if you look at that presentation. Now, I really don't understand why people didn't really talk about this one when it first came out. But I'm here to shed some light and give some insight on why, if you are into leathery, ambery, uh, earthy, yet fresh, sweet fragrances, this might be one you want to add to your collection. So first off, the, I looked at the notes on Fragrantica, and they're actually very spot on. These, are, these notes are very accurate. I do get a lot of these notes, so let me read those to you. In the top, we have raspberry and saffron. In the mid, we have rose, patchouli, and geranium. And in the base, we have oud, leather, cedar, and amber. So, first off, I'll do the honors. I've been sprayed this in a couple of months. This is definitely more of a fall scent. Some might wear this for a night, a nighttime occasion, but me, I'm going all day with this day, night, whatever you want to call it. So very good atomizer. It, it uh, has a very large, uh, very large mist. Oh man, this stuff is strong, but it smells really good. Okay, so first thing I get immediately is saffron. Um, there is some sweetness from the raspberry, but you do immediately get saffron and it dances with the rose. It's kind of evened out by patchouli. There's the aromatic quality of geranium. There's a lot going on in this fragrance. Um, oud does play a part. Oud is very soft, though. It doesn't play a major part. Um, which, But in the base, what you're really going to get is some fresh leather. And I didn't really know about much about leather a few months ago but then i started accumulating different leather fragrances and I've, i found it's a note that i really really like and when leather is done right it's it can actually be more fresh than animalic in my opinion this is you would think with the name with an exotic name like ruat al oud and a bottle like this and it has a scary you know sinister Middle Eastern type of writing, the Persian writing on it, you would think the Arabic or whatever, you would think that it's like just going to be animalic and dark and, and just, you know, barnyardy and, and stinky and all those things. But this is actually very, very fresh. The leather in it makes it fresh. It mixes with the geranium. It like kind of opens up. So first of all, let's talk about the leather app component to this the leather in this is a fresh leather it is like almost like a sports car leather like if you've ever sat in a new a luxury car or a sports car and they got that fresh leather that's the kind of leather i'm talking about oh man okay so raspberries in the top now the rose and the patchouli kind of blend in this there there's not really a distinct um a distinct separation between rose and patchouli they're they're not on top of each other they're in each other they're mixing very much and it adds a depth because it, it it pushes all the top notes like the raspberry the geranium saffron it pushes all that to the forefront and oud and amber leather cedar all of that is just kind of holding the bottom half of it down the leather is is pushing everything. The oud is is not a it's not a very loud oud. The oud in this is um, surprisingly very soft. You don't really even get much of it. 
um, cedar, you do get that woody kind of smell. But everything is so well blended in this one. You don't really smell one particular note overpowering all the other notes. The notes all work in harmony. They all work in unison to really bring out a fresh, unique, um, there I might say, clean. It's it's very strange. It's like it's clean, but it's it does have some some darkness to it, but not like not an offensive darkness. It's it's a spiciness and a freshness all at the same time. It's it's something that is best. Exp it, it's hard to explain, but it's very easy to experience once you get this. Once you get this, you will know what I'm talking about. This is Ruat al U from the House of Latafa. Um, oh man, this is one of my favorite fall scents. So this just screams fall, screams autumn. I like wearing this actually in the daytime and fall on days where it's not a, a Indian summer type day where we have like 80, 90, no. More like the 70, 60 degree weather. Um, that kind of deal, I like wearing that in the daytime um you can wear this at night it's just my personal preference is like i rock this whenever i want to um i would avoid wearing this in hot hot days of summer um and as far as longevity you get really long good longevity i do spray quite a bit of this on but um i would say you get about uh, off the top of my head, I would say about six and a half to eight hours on clothing. Definitely eight hours solid, but six and a half to eight hours on skin. Good projection. Um, really good sea eyes. The sea eyes shines in this. It just, it gets in the air and it moves around. And anytime you move, you're going to smell it. So this is a beautiful bottle, beautiful offering, beautiful scent, and a beautiful price. I got this when it first was making its rounds on Amazon. I got this for about a little under $30, like $28, $27, something like that. You could find it between $20 and, and $30, pretty much. Um, wouldn't pay, well, actually, I, I could see myself paying close to $40, but I probably wouldn't go above $40 for this one. But... It, all in all, this is a beautiful fragrance. Probably one of my favorite Latafa fragrances to wear in the fall. So um, if you're interested in something a little different and that is still is still within the realm of being pleasant, it's not going to piss people off. You're not going to uh, give your wife an asthma attack. You know, you're not going to scare your pets. Go with this one. This one will set you right. It will set you on the right path. And again, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, I love doing these videos. It's one of the highlights of my night. I like, I like, as soon as I get out the shower, boom, do a video. So, um, you guys know my motto by now. We're trying to make the world a better smelling place. And I'm doing it one video at a time. It's, it's happening. Each subscriber, each view, slowly getting the world to smell better. You know, I can feel the, I can feel the, the, I can feel the B.O. being, I can feel the B.O. being lifted off of the world. I can feel the corn chips and feet smell leaving the atmosphere. I can feel all of that because you know what? It's your job. It's your duty as a child of God to smell good. And I'm here to help you. <laughs> all right. I'm having too much fun. Anyway, you guys, if you like the, the video, um, leave a like, subscribe. Leave a comment if there's something I can do better in this video, and I'll get at you in the next one. Peace, y'all.